Hey, welcome to my little bit about bundles. Um, so if you're working um, in easy cross-legged, take height under the buttocks just to give you that little anterior tilt in the pelvis. Got two other videos that really work with setting up the framework of the body um, pre bundas and that's using the threefold breath, which we'll do now because we're going to go into what the bundas are and how we activate them. So that threefold regenerative breath is the belly expands out. So let's just feel the belly. The side ribs come wide and the sternum lifts. So let's just see if you can connect in with that. And you'll feel as soon as the sternum lifts, the chin wants to drop. And that's really cool because that's Jalandhara. That's the top of the bandha. <clears throat> but we'll start down in Mula Bandha. So I've got this lovely erect spine. The front of my body supporting the back of my body. If you're doing Padmasana, you must practice with your bandhas. Um, you just you just got to because you need that frontal support. So this height at the back of the body is creating a a substitute for a good core, but it's it's a way in. So we're going to sit. I'm going to activate Mula Bandha. So Mula Bandha is just a lift through the perineum. And when you're holding Mula Bandha and you're holding it for a while, I like to say it like an Australian, Mula Bandha. When you're holding Mula Bandha, just check in that you're not holding any tension in the thighs and in the buttocks. And quite often I'll be holding it and then five, ten minutes into something, I'll be like, oh, oh. <laughs> and this will just release a little bit more. So Mula Bandha is just a lift. Through the, through the, up through the premium, and you'll feel it start to pull through the groin, and that's great. So we're going to invite that, and that invitation to move up moves us into Uddiyana Bandha, which is the belly comes in and under and up behind the rib cage. So the rib cage sinks up and over, which quite often, if we've lost that core uh, stability and the core is loose. The, the rib cage can sit behind the, the abdominal caves and then, uh, caves and then it sits on the liver. And that's just no good because then you start getting shit liver problems. <clears throat> I know that because um, I experienced it. I lost integrity in my core and that's what happened. I also have a pretendency to lift through the rib cage. But once we activate that mula bandha, the rib cage drops down and sits sits beautifully on top of the core and as that as the breath comes into the top we've already got that slight drop and the chin comes down down towards the chest and now we're in Mahabandha the great bandha. So all three bandhas are on. Mula bandha, Uddiyana, Jalandhara. So that's how you activate them. And basically all it is is going and practicing and trying it out and see what happens. Um, what happens for me is... Uh, I get to a point, especially if I'm doing this around the Kundalini spinal series, uh, which I teach as a sadhana, which I recommend as a sadhana 40 day practice. Um, you'll find it on, I've got a practice video on YouTube, you'll find it on YouTube, um, the Kundalini spinal series. Um, I find that then Kachari Mudra or Kachari Bandha, depending on who's who you're talking to, which when we fold the tongue over and just rest it in the soft palate, actually helps move the energy up Sushumna. So basically what we're doing is creating this inner po, this strong, um, activated, aligned spine so we can access Sushumna Nadi, which is the, the great central Nadi. And that's where we're going. We're going into that part. That's, that's sort of the point of sitting is to go into Sushumna and, and let the energy, the subtle energy raise up because that's our, our up and out point. That's our connection with our 
higher self, as it were. Uh, so I hope that was interesting and informative. That's the Bundas. Watch the regenerative breath so you work out how to build that structure, that inner po, um, and enjoy playing with them. And yeah, just that, oh, I didn't finish. The Kachari, um, the Kachari mudra, what that does is when we put our tongue there on the soft palate, it lets the energy come out from the neck and also from that uh, under diaphragm at the top of the of the tongue because energy can get stuck here underneath our brain. And as soon as we touch that up, it's just this release to the crown. Uh, so I find that really helpful um, once I've got the lower mudra, that great Mahabanda working, Bandha mudra, once I've got that the Mahabanda working and solid, quite often we'll get that in the uh, that build up of energy in the upper palate. The other thing is um, Uddiyana Bandha. So we've also got that um, that area of the diaphragm of underneath the lungs. So that can also get uh, energy stuck. So when we are activating Maha Bandha, that in and up underneath, we're actually also pushing energy up, prana, up through that little catchment area. I hope this is helpful. Um, I really enjoy doing these videos. I really enjoy how it supports the other work that I'm doing. Um, it's kind of like breaking it down into all the little bits, which is really fun. Uh, have a beautiful day from me and my puppy Rue, who looks like a coat. <laughs> have a great day. Bye.